Yeah, so we just broke a new record in the U.S. Unfortunately, it's not the best record to break. This new record is the highest credit card debt in history ever. For the first time in history, credit card debt for Americans has hit $1 trillion, to be exact, $1 trillion and $3 billion. So even though interest rate hikes have slowed and inflation has started to cool down, this tells us that the cost of living is just still too high. People are still very dependent on living off of those credit cards and accumulating more debt. What makes this interesting and further fuels the, the issue that we have here is that most Americans are afraid to talk about their credit card debt. They hide it from their family and friends. And that furthers the issue here to where we're not able to tackle the issue and actually resolve the problem. We found that people would rather talk about their weight, their <laughs> political views, their religious views. They'd rather talk about a lot of sensitive things rather than credit card debt. What we know is most people would rather talk about anything but their credit card debt. Maybe politics, what they're doing this weekend, anything. It could be any sensitive subject, but most people avoid the conversation of credit card debt. So what we know moving forward is that we can gauge this based on the delinquency factors, right? And so when we follow this trail of where people are in the delinquency scale, that's what tells us that we may have a problem. And that problem is probably coming very soon. Delinquency is just a fancy word for not being able to pay your credit card bill. In fact, right now, one in five Americans are already 90 days or later on their credit card payments. So this becomes very bad, not just for them, but for the economy as a whole, because as this starts to trickle down, we start to see issues in other places. The way that most people pay off their bills is they focus on the mortgage, they focus on the auto loan, then they pay their credit card bills. So as we see that there are people that are already beginning to be late on the credit card bills, these factors start to go up. The next thing is the auto loan, then the mortgage. Then we get into a really bad situation for the economy as a whole. When people can't pay their mortgage, they can't pay their auto loan, and they can't pay their credit cards. In fact, what this tells us is that more people are opening more and more credit cards, and they're not able to pay the balances off. So this is going to continue to accumulate until we get to a place to where we can take control of the situation. So if you're like most Americans and you find yourself in this situation, don't be embarrassed. A lot of people are dealing with the same issues. And what I wanna do is give you a couple of things that you can do to make this situation better and get a handle on the credit card debt and make an impact so that you're not stuck paying this off over a long period of time with very high interest rates. And honestly, most of the interest rates and most of the debt will never be paid off if you don't take action for it. So here's something that you can do to take action today and help yourself start to alleviate that credit card debt and get rid of it. First, call your card issuer and ask for a lower annual percentage rate. A lending tree survey found about three quarters of consumers who asked for a lower rate in the past year got one. Yes, it's that easy. Pick up your card, Call the number on the back and ask them for a lower interest rate. You can go online. You can use the app. Find the contact information for the issuer of that credit card. Give them a call and ask for that lower rate. We're not going to say that this is going to be cut in half or drop down to 1%, but any amount of interest that you're not paying will help in the long run. So don't wait on this. Call and ask for that lower interest rate. Also, try to snag a 0% interest balance transfer card. These cards offer 12, 15, even 20 months with no interest on transfer balances. Now, once you get one, you got to be aggressive about paying off as much of the balance as you can during that introductory period. Surprisingly, a lot of people don't know that this is a possibility, but you can do it. You basically just transfer that balance to a new credit card. Whenever you start that new credit card and you've got those 0% or even very low, like for instance, Navy Federal Credit Union can give you a balance transfer with no fees and you can also get a 0.99 or a 1.9% interest rate on the low side. So that's a very big thing when it comes down to cutting that interest rate down drastically and giving yourself time to pay that balance off. Now, as I pointed out, you need to be aggressive. So if you get that balance transfer and you have a 0% interest, pay as much as you possibly can on that debt during that time window that you have. Now, you can transfer it again to another card and continue that cycle and alleviate that interest rate that you have and replace it with a 0% ongoing. That's a little bit more of an advanced strategy and it takes some timing. Now, one of the big things that is a caveat to this, you do have to have that credit card. You have to get approved for it. So sometimes you need to do things before you get to that point to make sure you can get that credit card approval. 
So that's where your credit repair comes into effect. There are things that you can do to make sure you can get that card and set yourself up for the best possible outcome when applying for that credit card. If you do need help with the credit repair process, I'll put a video here. Go check this video out. This will help you start the credit repair process, show you how to read your credit report and get you set so that you can get that 0% transfer card if you need it. And you can begin this process the right way. So I'll put a video here. I'll also drop a link in the description where you can get your credit report for $1. If you haven't looked at your credit report recently, I highly recommend that you do. That way you know what's on there and you know what's holding you back if you can't get that balance transfer card or you can't get the loan. These things will help you be better prepared for the things that you need to do and want to do. Hopefully this video has been informational. It's given you some things to think about, maybe a couple of things that you can do yourself to go and attack this credit card debt. And I just wanna say again, don't be embarrassed if you have credit card debt. Most people do. So go after it, have a plan, attack the credit card debt, pay as much as you can and get yourself into a good situation because as this continues to grow, this will begin to affect the economy and everybody as a whole. So if you can set yourself up for a better situation to if that comes into fruition, you are able to sustain and continue to go. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash that like button. I hope this was a great video for you and I hope to see you next time.